Hey everyone, it's Jason from EmptyMind.org. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Map Local feature in Charles to not only save a lot of time, but also cure a lot of headaches. Charles is a fantastic tool, and whether you're debugging issues for a client or developing new tracking code, the Map Local feature is a lifesaver and will become one of your best friends. To show you how it works, we're going to use a quick example using my website here. What I want to do is I want to be able to capture a success event when someone clicks the About page. If we load up the Omniture Digital Pulse Debugger to show you what's being currently captured, you can see that we have a really basic set of information about this page, but there's no events being captured. I'd like to capture a success event when someone hits this page. So to do that, what I need to do is I need to save a local copy of my S code file that's on my production site. I've already done that and saved it to my desktop. The next step is to go into Charles and create a mapping. Let's do that now. So if I go into Charles and I select Tools and Map Local, it brings up this Map Local feature. Now what this does is it allows me to map a file that is local on my computer to a file that's sitting out on a server somewhere. That way I can develop and add code to that file and swap it for the file on the production site. And I'm only going to see those changes. So if I inject new bugs into it, or I want to have alerts be thrown at various points in the process, I'm only going to see that. Again, this is a fantastic feature. So to do that, we're going to click the Add button. And then in the host, we're going to add the path to the S code file. So mine is sitting at emptymind.org slash s underscore code.js and Charles will go ahead and split that out into the appropriate fields and then all we have to do is pick a local file to map that file to and again as I mentioned I have already saved a copy of that S code file to my desktop and select OK now what this does is when I run my site on my local machine instead of using the S code file that's sitting out on the server it's now going to use the S code file that's on my local desktop, the file that I'll be making changes against. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we'll tab over to our text editor. I'm just going to add a very simple block of code here to fire a success event when a visitor lands on the About page. So bear with me while I add a little bit of code here to do that now. So basically all this is doing is if a visitor lands on my about page, then I want to fire some code. Now I'm going to use a basic utility function that is available to Omniture clients uh, called s.apl. And basically what this will allow me to do is append an event to the existing event string. This is good in case I'm setting the event somewhere else or I could have multiple events per page. When my new function runs, it's not going to override that the existing events that are already being sent set. It will simply apply it to the list. Now all we have to do is save this and go back to our browser and test the changes. So we'll go ahead and reload this page and if everything works as we expected it to, Charles will swap the file that is sitting out on the emptymind.org server with the file that's on my local machine. Now when this runs and we go back to the Omniture debugger, we should see that event 1 is now being captured. And you can see event 1 is now being captured in the event string. Now all I have to do is copy this updated file to my server and this code change will be live for all of my visitors.